Hi, second grade. Today we are going to work on telling time. You're going to be able to say, I can tell time to the nearest hour and 30 minutes. First, I want you to meet Fox O'Clock, and he is going to help us learn how to tell time today. All about the clock. Well, Fox O'Clock has some things to share with us. And the first thing is the minute hand and the hour hand. Fox, what do you notice about the clock? He notices that the minute hand is longer than the hour hand. Do you notice that too? Fox O'Clock likes to go on trips around the clock. And when the minute hand is pointing to the top of the clock, to 12, he knows it is zero minutes. So Fox O'Clock looks at the hour hand, our short hand, to figure out what time it is. It is four hours and zero minutes on our clock. Now where is our hour hand pointing? The hour hand is pointing at eight. And the minute hand is still with Fox O'Clock at the top, which is zero minutes for eight o'clock. Now, where is the hour hand pointing? The hour hand is pointing at the 10. And the minute hand still hasn't moved. Fox O'Clock is still hanging out at zero minutes for 10 o'clock. So Fox O'Clock is at the top of the clock. But when he goes on a trip all the way to the bottom, 30 minutes have passed. So when the minute hand is pointing at the 12, it's zero, zero minutes. When the minute hand is pointed at the six, it is 30 minutes. Because if you remember, we count by five around the clock. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I want you to watch the hour hand again to see what time it is. Where is the hour hand? Our hour hand is pointed at the nine and our minute hand is pointed at 30 for 930. <laughs> Fox o'clock is still at the 30, but where's our hour hand? Our hour hand is pointed at the one for 130. Second grade, maybe you've noticed that the hour hand isn't perfectly on the one. Well, the hour hand moves between the one and the two each hour. So as long as it's not on the two yet, it's still one o'clock. Where is the hour hand now? The hour hand is on the five for five 30. Fox o'clock is still hanging out on the 30. Now let's practice together. I want you to get out your practice page and we are going to do these four problems together. Don't forget when the minute hand, the long hand is pointed to the top, it's o'clock. When the minute hand is pointed to the six, it is 30 minutes. And this is how we write time. We put the hours first, so whatever the hour hand is pointing to, 
and then the minutes after the two dots. Hmm, what time is it? Pause the video and write your answer under number one. It is four o'clock. Fox o'clock, his long minute hand is pointed to the 12. So it is zero, zero for minutes. And the hours is pointed at four. What time is it on the clock? Pause the video and write your answer. The minute hand is pointed to the six, which means fox o'clock is hanging out at 30. And the hour hand is in between seven and eight. Does that mean it's eight o'clock? No, it's seven. It's not quite eight yet. What time is the clock showing? Write down the hours and then the minutes. Pause the video to write your answer. This clock is showing 10, 30. And last one, what time is it on the clock? Hours first and then minutes. It is two o'clock. Now, my second grade friends, you are going to practice on your own with your seesaw page. So first, look at each of these clocks and write down the time. Remember, you look at the shorthand for the hours first and write that first. And then you look at the minute hand and hmm, would I write 312? No, remember, when the minute hand's pointing at the 12, it's o'clock. And when the minute hand's pointing at the six, it's 30. So finish these four problems and then post this page on Seesaw. If you forgot how to post it, here are those directions. I can't wait to see all of your hard work.